the Mostar, this summer has seen a return to the good times. A respite, however fragile and temporary, from a tragic and complicated war that's torn apart the young lives of the country's children. A festival called Happy Street, designed to bring a little normality back to the lives of the children of Mostar. Alem Praguda lived through the war. During the war, for that four years, I think, the people was like going crazy. They, they like didn't care about if they're gonna live or die. It was like, I don't know, it was like everybody is going crazy, even the little children. Now at the age of 14, he's a reporter, working for children's radio and TV programs sponsored by UNICEF which wants to help children rebuild their lives. At Happy Street, Alem meets the festival's organiser, Nigel Osborne, a Scottish professor of music and professional optimist. Can you tell us, please, what are you doing here? And... Well, this is something that uh, our groups with Shula Hilton Labour and War Child have put together. Osborne is in Mostar for the charity War Child, and his plans, including the building of an international music centre, depend on continuing political harmony. Without it, the future's uncertain. Yes, it's, it's just beginning, it's nascent. We're, we're beginning to develop the methods, and the idea is that in the new music centre in Mostar, we will get an international centre to develop that, not to sort of patronisingly to attempt to be curing uh, Bosnians. It's not that, it's to use perhaps some of the negative experiences here for something positive for the future. Dobar dan, djeco. At the centre of Osborne's work are Bosnia's schools, like this one in Dreznica. None of these kids had ever seen a puppet show before. Dreznica, where they live, is isolated in the hills further up the Naretva Valley from Mostar. War child music teachers come up here weekly as part of the new post-war school curriculum. The puppets are a bit of a bonus. Hi, hi, Nigel Osborne sees the program as part of reconstructing young minds that war has scarred. I think an enormous amount of pain and suffering. The Reznica uh, uh, had suffered from the Yugoslav army at the beginning of the war coming through. And then when the incredibly unfortunate um, Croat Muslim war, or Croat Bosniak war, uh, began, um, this place got hammered from the Croatian side um, very, very heavily. Though he's a distinguished composer and professor of music now, it's not hard to see that at one stage of his life, Nigel Osborne was a primary school teacher. We get the children to make up some words, uh, and then we generate from that a rhythm, a sort of prosody, and then from that a melody. What was um, funny today it was that they immediately made up their own melodies spontaneously. It's a sort of activity that at this age you do in a group in preparation for later on, children sitting down individually with an instrument and picking out notes to be able to construct a melody. But by doing it in the group, you can show them how easy it is and how it's just a case of trying things out until you're satisfied. It's all part of a network of projects threatened by the political breakdown in Mostar, a breakdown in which the certainties of the old are threatening the future of the young. The, the kids are extraordinary. I mean. Um, the maturity of children, uh, the depth of their thinking. I mean, it seems to me to be up to us uh, to find some way of helping them to direct that knowledge, energy and thought. I mean, it, 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 it is something extraordinary about them. Uh, and of course, that could go totally wrong. It's like one of the situations in life where one has something extraordinary. Uh, and either it can be turned to something strong and good, but if it's not, of course, that energy will go to hell and shoot off in all kinds of directions that would be quite damaging. So it's our job.
The drama of the children of Mostar and the outsiders like Nigel Osborne who want to help them is being played out against a ravaged backdrop. At different stages of the war, Serbs from the heights on one side and Croats from the hills on the other poured artillery fire down into this valley town. There was hand-to-hand -hand fighting, too, for months, the hardest being in the Muslim enclave in what's largely the Croat west of the city. Now, with the international peacekeeping force I-4 in charge, Mostar should be one unified city again, part of the supposedly unified new Bosnia. It should be, but it's not. On the Croatian west side, little touched by the fighting, the main shopping center is glitzy and pulsing with black market cash. On the Muslim east, the economy is barely staggering to its feet. Aid dollars are still the mainstay here. The key issue now, Croat politicians want segregation to remain for kids as well as adults. Mi moramo kazati da su ipak ovo dvije različite civilizacije. Nije nikakav grijeh ako imali institucije, škole, dakle školu, crku i ostale institucije što će sačuvati nacionalno, vjersko, kulturno određenje na jednoj strani, a neka muslimani imaju na drugoj strani. So it's only the east side radio and TV stations that carry programs made by Alem Praguda and his colleagues. It's not the fault of UNICEF, which trains and supports them. They've tried their hardest to make it a multi-ethnic project. For children on both sides, what divides them couldn't possibly outweigh the fund of shared suffering they have in common. Za vrijeme rata bilo je užasno, to se ne može opisati kako je bilo. Čovjek mora preživjeti to da bi znao, da bi osjetio tu strahotu. When the school is over, then the teachers couldn't send all children and buds. They send maybe two or three children, then for ten minutes the other two or three, because if the grenade falls, that we don't die all. When you were going, you were running? Oh, yes. I was, I had so much, so much condition that even when war was over, I was all, always running. <laughs> <laughs> and you were running because of snipers? Yeah, snipers. The lots of people died from snipers. And that was, that was really, really, almost every day there was two or three people died from snipers. It was scary on the first place. It was worse when somebody gets killed that you know. And when your father or mother get wounded or something like that. And then the grenades all the time. Oh, that was the really worst. And then when their father went to the frontier, you know, to fight. And when you don't know of him, you know, for some months or so, that was the worst. What is the world is never been there, but now the children, after the war, they want to be together, all together, because they have to take care of their children. The war. job has been bringing back a measure of culture to the war zone. Few areas saw more damage than Blagai, a few kilometers outside Mostar, where the shelling only stopped a few months ago. You should be here to, 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 to feel that and see that like everything was smell on, 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 on burning. Everything was just foggy, you know, like there is no sun. Even in, 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 in sunshine, like when it's sunshine like this, there was no, no, no clear sun, you know, like there was all fog, you know, like smoky. Blagai took a massive pounding from two sides. 
a victim of its geographical position in a narrow valley. What's claimed to be the biggest natural spring in Europe pumps a constant stream of freezing water into the river. A place of worship since prehistoric times, the spring's now the site of an ancient centre for the dervish sect. Its caretaker, Muyur Krhan, says the war hit Blagai harder than anywhere in Bosnia. After years of shelling by Serbs on one side and Croats on the other, the kids of Blagaj show surprisingly little superficial damage. But here, though they were happy to play and dance on War Child's music afternoon, none of the Black Eye children wanted to talk. The trauma lies too deep. Ja mislim opet kada bi jednoga ne jednoga trebalo čitava tu stroj sio neuropsijatara da bi izvršili analizu. Ja mislim da su djeca traumatizirana. Totalno, tek se sada počinje opuštati, ali te opuštanje tek pokazuje te traume na djecu. Tek se sada traume otkrivaju. Here, where work on reconstructing young lives is just beginning, the danger of a political breakdown is most obvious. If conflict is allowed to return, many of these children, already scarred, will lose all hope and trust in the future. They deserve better. <laughs> Those kids, they are the biggest hero. Anyone, young and old, who survived this hell, they are hero. They are national heroes, especially the kids. They used to go for what There is no water, no utility, no food, no nothing, man. Even just only they, they take everything from us except air because we got air to breathe, nothing else. Now they have food and the first stirrings of a normal life. Teenage rock groups seem an odd form of aid, but man cannot live by bread alone. Before the war, the city was a Balkan cultural jewel. At its heart was the Stari Most, it means beautiful bridge, that had stood since the 16th century. Now even for Mostar's young, the memory of it nags like a broken tooth. I liked the way before, that before things were, you know. As a kid, I liked it, you know. I don't know what the political situation was, you know, and I didn't care, you know. I was just living in a happiness with all my friends, you know, and everything. And that's the way, that's just the way I want, want, I want it to be, you know. Elvedin Delic is only 16. Like most kids here, he seems 10 years older. He spends his time working with War Child, practicing guitar and writing songs. But young men like Elvedin are growing up in a Mostar which has become two cities. Teenagers should be able to come and go around their hometown. The international presence here is supposed to guarantee freedom of movement. Ask why at the Croat separatists HQ in West Mostar, and the line is uncompromising. Namjere ti ljudi nisu humane. Drugo, u Mostaru imamo zabranjeni 40 humanitarnih organizacija jer su prodavale drogu. It's important to have the cameras 
uh, for children to be able to tell their story, for children to be able to, for, for the world in some way to be able to see what the children are thinking. Um, uh, there again, that, that there's a, a very important story to tell. Um, unfortunately, most of the world is entirely unaware of the misery that Mostar has been through. There have been the sensational pictures and then they went away and moved on to the next disaster. I pray for you, let's pray for the children from all Neka se djeca druže spontano se, oni se već druže. I tu treba neki stranac doći da zloupotrebljava djecu. In fact, far from using or abusing the children, UNICEF has now got them to the point where they produce their own shows without any supervision from outsiders at all. Their one desire is to live in a normal, unified town. Meni je sve jedno. Ja bih volala da dođu i djeca iz Esnobole da zajedno radimo emisiju, ali oni koji za koje znamo da su dobri i tako. Volala bih da rad, da radimo svi zajedno, da opet bude sve kao prije. Ne bih volala da se izdvajamo sad kad je rad završio, onaj mi je skroz završio, završio. Mostar is just one town just a single aspect of the patchwork of problems that the Dayton Agreement tried to address. But it's also the pacemaker. Its elections in June were supposed to pave the way for the much wider national poll due in September. Now Mostar's delicate consensus looks like being shattered. Are there any grounds for hope? You know, there's, a, there's an informed optimism, there's a hard optimism, even a slightly kind of depressive optimism that, that I work on, uh, uh, that, that is, is on the theory that one just slogs on as long as that, that, that is life, is it not? You keep going until they knock you over. Is that not the, the, the principle? The real Mostar people all believe that the Mostar is going to be rebuilt again because, you know, even even of this all destruction and, and everything, you know, the Mostar keep, kept his soul, you know. It's hard to remain unmoved by the strength and optimism of the children of Mostar. But it's even harder to share their optimism. Because what they're up against is the bitterness, hatred and intransigence of their elders. <laughs> Yeah, they say.